Hey, how's it going guys? In this video here, it's Henry and I'm going to be guiding you through exactly how you can spy on your Facebook ad competitors. But just a disclaimer before I go into my computer and walk you through all the steps. What you should know is basically spying on your competitors shouldn't be a way for you to completely rip off the ads or completely um, copy word for word or copy precise funnels that, that are working for your competitors. But it should give you an idea of what works so you can replicate that, give you something that you can improve on, give you something that you can just see what works for in, in terms of your niche. But this is not something you should copy word for word or rip off your competitors. So just a disclaimer before I dive into my computer. Hope you enjoyed. The fourth point in, in, in particular is one of my favorite ways. So I'm sure you're going to get some value from this video. Enjoy. How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be talking about how you can spy on your Facebook ad competitors. I'm going to guide you through the top four ways that I personally have used in the past to do it. What you can use to, to get an idea of what's working with your competitors. See precisely what they're doing and replicate that if you want. Again, it's not meant to copy word for word. Don't completely rip off your competitors. But this following these methods here will give you an idea of what direction to go two in terms of your ads, in terms of your funnels, and it'll just make your advertising far easier once you start advertising. So watch this video, it's going to be a, a very quick one. Uh, I'll guide you through the points here. So the first thing that I recommend you do when, when trying to copy what is working in terms of Facebook ads is, I would firstly go to some of the top marketers, for example, like I would check out um, uh, Ryan, Dice, I would check out digitalmarketer.com for as an example. Check out Digital Marketer, perhaps check out Dan Henry. Just take a, take a look at the top marketers and go to their website. So I would go to Dan Henry, I would go to Digital Marketer for example and most likely they've got a pixel on this site so they will retarget you with some ads. So after you've been to these websites, Dan Henry or just some of the top top uh, marketers out there. I might, might throw some other examples in the comments and the caption below, but go to some of the top marketers. They will pixel you on their website most likely. And then when you go to your Facebook newsfeed, most likely you will see some ads that come up and then you can opt into their funnels and, and see what's working in terms of that. Uh, again, you should perhaps also do this in terms of your competitors. So um, perhaps if you went in the cat, you're selling cat products or whatever niche you're in, perhaps take a look at some of your competitors' websites, go to their website, and most likely, if they're doing good advertising, they will have a pixel on the website, which will then obviously send you retargeting ads. So on your Facebook newsfeed, you'll probably get some ads from your competitors. So that, that's a good way to, to see what works. Screenshot uh, the ones that you find useful to use for later. Build up a swipe file of of these, these ads that you think are, are, are good in terms of your niche. And then another thing you can do when your competitors ads now start popping up on your newsfeed, what you want to do is, I don't, I don't have a newsfeed here as you can tell, so this is not going to be a, a particularly good example, but what you can do, because you probably will, will have a newsfeed, I don't, but um, you will have an option uh, like this. Facebook now lets you see exactly why you're seeing, seeing ads. So if, if you do get, ads on your newsfeed now, what you can do is, I'll just show you an example here, click on the top right hand corner of the ad as you can see here, this is a Facebook newsfeed and you will see an option for why am I seeing this. So go to the ads that pop up from your competitors, click on why are you seeing this and most likely uh, you will get some, some targeting options that your competitors are doing. It might say you're seeing this because you are part of a customer list or you're seeing this ad because they are targeting people between 18 and 35 and so on. So by doing this, by clicking on this, why am I seeing this option? After you've been on your competitor's website, you can get an idea of the sort of targeting that your competitors are using, which obviously is, is very valuable. So this is the first, the first method that I, I would use to spy on competitors, which is 
go to the top marketers website and go to your competitors websites and then let them retarget you you'll start seeing the ads on, on your newsfeed and then either swipe the ones that you like go through the funnels and, and see what sort of things are working in that niche and also use this option the why am i seeing this option to basically see what is is work in terms of targeting in that niche so that would just give you some ideas for you to use so the second way that you can spy on, on ads are going to one of my favorite ones ad espresso i personally don't use ad espresso for advertising uh, you can do of course but i i recommend the facebook power editor it's good enough it does does what you need it to do but this is a good way to see ads in a specific niche so go to ad espresso and then click on examples on the bottom let's let's wait to come up yes so as you can see here ad espresso i've got a whole host of, of ads that you can you can go through and see uh, get ideas from a bit of inspiration as you can see they've got 2000 pages of ads that you can just go through and see what works but say you want to um, sort it out by a particular niche so let's see see real estate um, let's say we're going to be doing ads for a real estate company if, if you're trying to sell sell real estate or you're providing for clients that do sell real estate yeah you might you might type in real estate here as you can see, these are numerous real estate ads that uh, might seem to work. You can see the number of shares the ad has and so on. So that might, again, just give you some inspiration, give you some idea of what ads are working in that niche. And um, you can also sort out in terms of the placement, whether you want to just see mobile um, ads, newsfeed, desktop ads, uh, whether you want to see... Um, a page like a bit of course I, I don't recommend that but you can sort, sort it out here on ad espresso so you can see precisely what you want to, to check out you, you can just check out retargeting ads and get inspiration for your retargeting ads from that you can just check out photo or video it's as you can tell there's various options that you can use on, on ad espresso in terms of spying on on ads and getting inspiration for ads so this is the second way that I would spy or get some intel before you, you start running ads. So the third method that I would use and I'd recommend you to use if you want to get inspiration for your ads is going to another website which is addicted.io. So as you can tell, it's a similar layout to Ad Espresso. It's just basically a different database. It's pulled up different ads here. But what you can do is the same sort of thing. Go to the niche that you're trying to um, check out. Um, I just put out my headphones here, but go to the niche that you're trying to check out. Um, and as you can see, these are type, types in real estate again, similar to what I did with Ad Espresso. And you, you can just go through this whole gallery of relevant ads. You can see what is working. You can read the copy. You can see what ads seem to have been successful. Of course, you can't really tell from this, but uh, it just gives you some idea of things that you can replicate in terms of copy, in terms of the images used. This is just a, a very a very good way, a very good means of uh, check out the ads. As you can tell, you can also sort out in terms of the reactions it got. If something got really good reactions, obviously it's it's um, it might be pretty good. You can sort out in terms of likes, the most viral videos, most shared ads. Um, yeah, so this this is also a very very good means of checking out as that worked. The third means that I would use in terms of spying on competitors or just getting intel is going to swiped io i believe that is a website let's yeah swipe.co sorry so this is actually a copywriting website it's it's made specifically for uh, copywriters but if if you are advertising on, on facebook of course this can also be a really good uh, thing to you so let's check here they obviously don't have a large facebook ad database but you can see the ads that they've got got here and the thing about swiped.co because it's mainly for copywriters it goes far more in depth it helps out in terms of uh let's let's see here they actually provide case studies so i'm going to check out this um ty, ty lopez they they've got a case study here on ty lopez so you can see exactly the 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 concepts that he used in creating his ad you can see what what works 
in terms of this this ad so if, if you're struggling as well with your copywriting in terms of of writing your ads this can be a really good means of just checking out exactly what kind of copy to use addressing your weaknesses in terms of your copy this is a very good website to do that so those are the first three ways that I, I would get some intel before I run my ads I will um, just basically you can use all these three I've mentioned so far to improve your ads get some some idea of what competitors or what top marketers are doing with their Facebook ads and then the fourth way that I like to to spy on competitors especially when running ads for e-commerce clients or running e-commerce ads myself is I go directly to Facebook this is the, the fourth fourth way to spy on your competitors maybe the most um, effective actually but go back to your Facebook uh, newsfeed and then what you want to do is think think of a niche whatever niche that you are targeting for you want to say like you can tell I've already searched for some some options here if if you are selling cat necklaces cat necklaces as I've typed in here you want to go to your Facebook newsfeed and basically type in the either the the niche you are in and then a call to action like buy now or get yours now tag a friend uh, and then some adverts will, will come up that are related to your niche you can see exactly what um, seems to be doing well you can see what your competitors are, are doing in, in that instance and 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 that works so so to uh, to refresh you put the the product that you're searching for the niche you're searching for and then a call to action in the Facebook search bar here and then see what comes up so as an example let's type in cat necklace order here so whether you're selling wine bottles order here it can be um, t-shirts order here just whatever product you're selling and then a call to action so this is the cat necklaces let's let's see what comes up so let's scroll down a bit um, so as, as you can see here some Ad, this is clearly an advert. You can see the order here. Get yours before it's gone. Um, from from this page, it's got quite a few likes. So maybe this is doing well. It's got a clean image. So this is basically just allowing you to check out what is working in 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 that specific niche. Let's try another one. Cat necklace, tiger friend. Let's see what comes up in terms of that. It might um, also throw up something that's useful to you. So this is a, a similar search as, as well. We just scroll down and um, yeah, you do see it an, another ad that a, a, a cat loving page is, is put up again. Enjoy 60% of this cute cat pendant. Again, this gives you ideas in terms of the copy you can use. They're using a carousel ad here. Maybe you might want to use a carousel ad because that works in that niche. Uh, and a test test out. Again, once once again, with Facebook ads, uh, with, with marketing in general, you still need to test out all these things to see if they work for you and find your own twist on things. You don't want to be uh, completely ripping off your competitors because you just blend, blend in. You want to be as authentic as possible with your marketing and you do want to, to stand out. So as Seth Gordon says, still be the purple cow in terms of your, your advertising. So all these things I've guided you through uh, in, in this video, you don't want to completely copy um, everything that's, that's working for competitors, but take the good elements and incorporate that into your advertising. Take what doesn't seem to be good in terms of your competitors, the weaknesses they seem to have with their ads, their funnels, their marketing, and improve on that. Like, use use these methods to just study what works and replicate those things. And then the things that don't seem to work as well, cut them out of your marketing, find your own unique twist, and you're good to go. So once again, I hope this video helped. I'll leave you with a nice cat image uh, here as I sign off. But leave me a comment if you want to, to you have any question about these methods that I use, or if you just, want want to, to share something that that's worked for you and once again i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got value from it most importantly and it improves your ads and subscribe if you like this sort of content give me a thumbs up to encourage this sort of video on youtube and i'll see you on the next video